and welcome to Plans by Kim. If you are new here, welcome and thanks for stopping by. Today I am going to be planning in my dashboard for the week of the 17th to the 23rd. And if you want to see how this one turns out, stick around. All right, so we're just going to dive right on in. I'm going to be actually using the Girls with Goals and the Squad Life Girls for this spread this week. I just thought somewhere there's snow. May not be here, but somewhere there is. So I'm gonna pretend like we've got some snow outside this year and we're just gonna go sledding, how's that? But first I'm just gonna cover up these. Different headers, get that out of the way. And then I'm gonna come in with this big Mambi stick. Oh, those girls look like they're having so much fun. Okay. <laughs> At first, you guys, I thought that was, Oh, I thought that was trash. I was like, wait a minute, is that part of my sticker? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna confess it's late. And by late, it's after 8.30, okay? So I'm just going to kind of take up this whole space this week. Put these girls down here. They look like they're just having so much fun. I'm going to come down here and cut this one off here. All right. And then I do have another one. This one is in the, I think it's a squad life. Nope. This is the squad goals. So I'm going to actually come in here and take these little girls here and put these girls on this side of the page. Um, where do I want them? I think I'll come up here on Monday because Monday is not a big day for me. And then I'm gonna come in here with the Colorful Boxes book and I'm going to start throwing down some stickers. I do have these stickers that I had made up from another spread this last week that I ended up not using. Anyway. I've got these set aside for this because I want to use some pink and blue stickers. And let's see here. I got two of those. Uh, let me go to the blue. I like this blue here. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna look at my other book. I've got another one of these books. Let me see what I have in this one. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, maybe one of these pages is that one. So there's only four of that color. Four, five, six. Um, but I do have this one that I could pull. Got these two I could pull. Okay, so we're good. I just might use larger boxes this go around. So I'll hold on to these books because I may need to come back. I will need to come back to them. There's no may about it. I will be coming back to them. So let's see here. Let's start off with a blue up here. And then I want to just grab one of these pink boxes here. And these, when you make them, are just a little bit bigger than those. So I say I'm going to use them, but hold on. Let me see how many I have to use because honestly, guys, Got 
mais fina. So today was in the 50s. Yesterday it was almost 60. Today it was a little bit not as warm. And then as the week progresses, tomorrow it's supposed to be a little bit cooler. And then I think by Saturday, the high is like in the 30s. So um, here in Kansas, we have very bipolar weather. Okay, I just wanted to cut that little bit off so this wasn't sticking up out of there. Oh, I don't want to use that. I want to use the blue one. I love this color blue, you guys. I love it. Look, it matches her hat perfectly. As perfect as we're going to get anyway. But I think pretty perfectly. Okay, let me see what I have left over to use. I've got one blue box here. Oh, no. Mm, yeah, okay. Let me take this and put this one up here. Just stick that there. Okay. Um, I may actually come in with maybe this green here now just because oh holy toledo it makes me want to go and change those boxes one two three i know you guys i'm ocd and anal but i want this spread to look um, the same on both pages. So I want the same amount of color on each page. And I'm going to take this blue one off here that I just laid down. And I'll lay this pink one down here. Okay. Got a little bit of that blue coming in over there, or it's more of a tealish green. All right, and then on this page here, I'm gonna take this one up. And then I'm gonna bring this teal green in and stick this one over here. Okay, and then on this side, I think what I'm going to do is lay down this pink there and then this blue one here And then I'm going to cut this off here. Okay. All right, now, um, let's see. So Monday, okay, Tuesday will be a plan with me day. I'm just gonna come in here with, I think this one here. here on this side. Okay. And then so Friday I want to do two small ones. So we'll do this green one. And then do I have yeah I've got this other blue one right here. 
level to a green. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been watching some true crime stuff on TV, on Netflix. And this Patsy Klein song that was on one of them, John Grisham actually um, was a producer on it and actually took place in Ada, Oklahoma, which is a little close to home, which is a little scary. Let's say this Patsy Klein, Sweet Dreams, I think that's what that's called. Um, they played that song several times through that whole documentary and oh it's in the brain folks it's in the brain okay saturday i want a bigger box and i think i'm going to try to find that blue, that greenish teal bigger box no watch me not have one because i want that color um if i have to stop and make one i will because there's those two right there And I don't have any there. You guys, I love this color, as you can tell. <laughs> it gets used a lot. Okay, I don't have any left in that one. And these are the little boxes. And these have been used as well. Those have been used. Okay. I'm gonna stop the video so I can make me a box. All right, guys, I'm back. That didn't take too long. Made me this box. And I put that one that way over there, so I'm gonna put this one over here. One thing I do like about this dashboard, because this dashboard is new to me, is that this one doesn't take me as long to plan. Like, I don't know if it's because it's like super functional that it doesn't take that long, but I'm kind of excited about that. I said that and now watch watch this one take longer because I'm gonna be start putting um, these snowflakes down. And then also there's this cute hat here. There's this bigger one here. And then there was this little red one, but I don't have red anywhere in here, so I'm not gonna use the red one. But I think this little hat is so stinking cute. And since this one's pink, I think I'm just gonna have this one come like right over here. Let's see here. Let's just start putting some of these cute little snowflakes down and I wanna do some different, just kinda of like random. I need another dark blue. It didn't give me as many dark blues. That's a smaller one too. Okay, do I have any on my hands? Yes, I do. Kind of up here. Gosh, do they have a kind of cute little pink one? Mm -mm. No, but look, that's <laughs> that was so light. It's almost the same color as my skin. It blended. <laughs> it's because I'm so pale. Get really pale in the. Uh, winter and I try to stay out of the sun because y'all I am 52 and I stopped going into the sun 
probably when I was in my mid thirties because I had plastic surgery done. Okay. I did not have plastic surgery done. I had, I had a procedure done by a plastic surgeon. Okay. Let's just make that, get that out there. I had, I worked for a plastic surgeon. Okay. And I sketch, I was their scheduler and, um, I had this spot on my face that it would come and go, but uh, at times it would get really big and then it would turn really dark red and it was starting and it was like right in the middle of my face, guys. And I was start, I was getting worried about it because um, I would get some type of stuff out of it occasionally. And so I thought, shoot, since you work for a plastic surgeon, be honest, see if they'll do this for you. So I did. I talked to the nurse and said, hey, do you think Dr. D will take that off? And she said, yeah, I don't see why not. So got it approved through my insurance since I was going through a plastic surgeon. And it was after that surgery that I stopped going in the sun. And the reason why is because, and that surgery was done in the I think it was done in this in the in the uh, winter, but you guys, I could not be in the sun for six months. I had to stay out of the sun for six months, and so that went into spring and summer. And the reason why is because after you have surgery and they put new skin together, if you go out in the sun the sun will darken that fresh skin that's healing and you'll always have a scar visible, okay? That's my little 411 on scars. So that summer and spring and winter, honestly, I wore a hat the entire time I had on a hat because I did not want to have this red line going down my face. Now, uh, they sent it off to the uh, pathologist and it came back that it was non-cancerous. So thank God for that, that it was non-cancerous and it took care of it and I don't have any more growing back. Um, so I'm very thankful for that. But you guys, it was big, like it was getting to be the size of this snowflake right here on my face, like right in the middle of my cheek, right underneath my eye. That's how big it was getting. And then it was turning this really dark pinkish red color. And so it was starting to be kind of an eyesore, honestly. And I noticed that when we took a family picture, I thought, oh, holy cow, no way. Uh-uh, that, that thing's gotta come off. So, yeah, we, we took it off, and I have to say, if I ever do need plastic surgery for whatever reason, I know who I'm going to, because uh, he did a phenomenal, phenomenal job with those sutures. Um, I do want another blue one. I think I want to do this blue one. Well, I said I want to, thinking I was going to, thinking I was going to want to come over here. Gosh, again. I didn't want to lay that down there. I was just looking. Um, because I've got this one right here. And I didn't want to lay it right down next to it because I wanted it to be random. You know, like random. Okay, blue, 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 blue. Got a lot of blue on this side. I don't have any blue on this side. So how about we just bring this up there? And then, um, I've got this dark one here that I can just put over here. Got that one there. Um, do I have enough snowflakes down? I have another one of these little hats. This is cute. Now, if these girls weren't carrying these trees, I would consider putting them down. 
but I wonder if I could cut that out. Okay, I think I'm done with the snowflakes, honestly. If anything, I need some up here. Let's see here. Okay, I am just gonna see if I can try to. If I speed this up, it'll be because it's taken me too long to do this. And I'm using the Slice Precision Cutter. I just hope I'm not going through and doing my other stickers underneath it. Nope, I am not. Okay, let's just see. I love the fact that she's like walking on the snow. Oh, looky there, guys. I did it, I did it. A little bit. Let's see here. I don't think I don't think I got underneath her hand very well. Take that off, and then I'm just gonna try because I'm having a hard time getting this one. And her hand is right so small that I don't want to rip it off. Oh, uh, you know what? You know what, guys? She looks like she needs to be holding something. Okay. Because she was holding a tree. Her hand is just like sticking straight out there. I'm going to put her... Nope. I'm going to put her here like she's walking on that. All right, and then I need to find a, uh, shoot, do I have a, do I have one tiny enough? I need to get my color, these are my color markers. I'm going to use the back of this just to see if this is the color green. Yeah, you know, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. Oh, I say it'll work, but when it goes on that paper, it's darker. Oh, well, it kind of is right there in her hat, so we're just going to go with it. And then, got this pink. Oh yeah, no, that is so off. We'll put that one back and we will go with this one. All right. And I'm just gonna give it a little pink red as well. <clears throat> so, I need bullet points here, here, and here. Okay, there's that one. Okay, there's that one. I feel like I need a little cork. I could do this life is so good and put that here. So we just need to come in here now and write our headers up here and then we will be ready to end this one. So over here, um, this is my 
YouTube videos uh, to do. So YouTube. This is just gonna be all Instagram to do. Oh, I'm needing a new black pen, guys. This one is. Okay, if you guys hear my dog, she's over here going through her REM sleep. When she goes through REM, she's over here making all kinds of noises and shaking and quivering and everything else. I'm gonna change this. Instead of to do, I'm gonna put YouTube film. I'm gonna put this down as my YouTube to-dos. This will be my layouts. And if I can come up with a better word for that, I will. I'm just gonna put um, items needed. And then this is going to be my, uh, my uh, filming schedule. Well, I think this just turned out super, super cute. And I just wanna say, if you hung out with me today and you like this video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more of my, my videos, consider subscribing. And if you are a subscriber, I just wanna say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the time that you spend watching these videos. I have fun making them. I hope at some point they are an inspiration to you and that you can get some ideas or that I can give you some tips and tricks. And um, if you have any questions or if you wanna see anything, just drop a comment in that comment box and I will get back with you. And if it's anything just to say, hey, thanks for that idea, I'm, I'm on it, I will do it. So. Thanks, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.